Hey guys, this is not a Game of Thrones video. This channel's purpose is to discuss media in general. It's just that my only video not about Game of Thrones is my least successful one. But no matter. For everyone who's watched enough of my videos, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions. And YouTube is a newish platform for media, and as a fairly new YouTuber, I want to talk about the platform in a different way than some of the other YouTubers have already done. So don't worry, you won't hear a rant about hashtag YouTube party is over. And in here, I want to talk about a possible solution. So for anyone who doesn't know, last month YouTube came out with their community guidelines that say if you have nudity, violence, hateful content, misleading titles, harmful or dangerous content, copyrighted content, or threats in your video, you will lose the option to monetize your content. And the problem a lot of YouTubers have is that the language used in this document is fairly vague and that YouTube can kind of do whatever it wants. Now at that time, we still had less than a thousand subs. But I saw a lot of YouTubers talk about the issue. Some said that YouTube was censoring them. Some said that YouTube was demonetizing their videos and hurting their livelihood. Some said that this is a business and YouTube can do whatever they want. And the most extreme said this is the end of YouTube and tried to move over to VidMe. So first, let's calm down because what happened is the YouTubers got exactly what they wanted. They just didn't know what they were asking. Let's take a look to just a little over a year ago when Jimmy Kimmel made fun of the Let's Play genre on YouTube, or when E! made fun of YouTubers at the Teen Choice Awards. A lot of people said that people still don't take YouTubers as seriously as they should, that they should get more respect, and all of those sorts of things. And they were right. But what at least some YouTubers didn't understand is that when people notice you, and notice the power you have, that it comes with consequences. And this is especially true because YouTubers are a new breed of celebrity, especially for teens. You get censored. This is how all media works. Look at movies with the MPAA. They actually count the number of swear words that you have in a movie. The standards they give for rating a movie PG-13 or R are exceptionally ambiguous. And you might argue that this isn't really censorship. This is just to protect people from seeing movies that are age-appropriate. Let's say that you're right, and let's also remember that most of the money made in movies is on ticket sales and not product placement or other methods of advertising. And I will still say that there's a lot of censorship going on, and as one of my personal favorite YouTubers said, Dear MPAA, Fuck you! But let's talk about something that's more closely related to YouTube. Television. Now, what's the most controversial thing that you saw on CBS lately? Reruns of Two and a Half Men? Just look at Stephen Colbert trolling his own network. Anyway, all of this just seems so arbitrary, but most arbitrary of all, and I'm apparently not allowed to show you this following thing, okay? Of two female breasts. Here we go. They have to be blurred, all right? Where do you see a bit of uncensored television? HBO. Why? Because there are no advertisers. On that note, thank you, HBO, for all these wonderful shows. There is, by the way, something similar to this in the form of Vimeo. There, you pay directly for your content. But the only show I saw on there was L&H, and no plug, because I expected a bit more. I still enjoyed some of it. Anyway, for better or worse, this show is not censored even a little bit. We have many more cases of censorship where advertisers are involved. Uh, last year we had The View having advertisers pulled from them because of the Nurses Unite controversy. Just look at Donald Trump. Companies were pulling out of the Republican convention because they didn't want to be associated with him. Like what he says or not, would you want to advertise in a video that supports him? Or according to the latest polls, I'd say at least half of Americans say no. It's also true for athletes and actors. It's the nature of the beast, and it's not really YouTube's fault. If you expect to get money from advertisements, expect those companies to scrutinize your content. And yes, you can even expect to be censored. And we don't get to decide what's right and wrong. You can get away with an absurd level of violence, and it will be fine. But if they hear you curse, eh, they don't like that. Now yes, these were not people's entire complaints about the new policies. Some people complained their videos got demonetized for no real reason, because bots are the ones doing the work, and this is completely new, and there's nothing YouTube or you can do about it. Do you know how many YouTube videos are uploaded each day? 
Do you know how hard it is to develop a bot that can accurately do this without trial and error? This is how YouTube always worked. This is also the case with their copyright system, which by all accounts, got better with time. Look, I'm in no way saying that YouTube is doing everything it can for its creators. I mean, there's no one you can talk to with YouTube unless you're really big and connected. They just released those bot systems, from my understanding, without trying it out first on some sort of control group, or counseling more YouTubers who might be able to help those programs work better. But why should YouTube try harder? I'm really asking. The YouTubers have zero leverage. There's no other platform you can go to and do what you do on YouTube. And the fact that the YouTubers have no leverage is only their fault. But I'll get to this when we talk about the solution. Just look at the new Heroes program. Did they consult YouTubers? Because on its face, it can either be a really great or really bad program. My guess is that at first it's going to be bad, and with time it will improve. But it will improve in the worst way for creators, and the best and cheapest way for YouTube, which is trial and error. Let me tell you something else, though. This might get worse. The more YouTubers get bigger, the more successful they are, the more famous they are. Oh, just wait until a huge YouTuber says something out of place. You want big advertisers? You unfortunately have to play their game. And no, as of right now, you cannot expect Google to start asking any person who advertises what videos are okay for him and which are not. It's just unrealistic. And again, no leverage. Can you allow external advertisers like some big YouTuber suggested? Sure. But that would need a different system to be developed. And this is only a solution for big YouTubers. So I'm sorry, it's not really a total solution. Yeah, a 1 million subscriber channel could get it, or even a 300,000 channel maybe, but most smaller channels are still going to suffer. And most big channels have other sources of income anyway. So you know that won't solve much of the issue. But you know what, I I'm not here to just explain. Even if I disagree or agree with YouTube here or there, the problem is that every YouTuber has a voice. And this is the nature of the beast. We all have our platform, no matter how big or small it may be. We all have our opinions, and we all want to say them. Hey, just look at me in this video. I said YouTubers have a lot of power, but if they don't use their power together, YouTube will always win. Making 100 rant videos won't stop them from releasing a new system that will spend a year screwing over YouTubers until they fix it. And why? Well, why not? The problem is that YouTubers don't have a unifying voice. It's easy to win a fight when the other side won't fight together. It's like the players trying to fight the NFL without the NFLPA, and they're losing even with the union. So imagine what would happen without. So yes, YouTubers do need a YouTubers Association. So hashtag YouTubers Association. So if you can, do share this video as much as possible. If YouTubers want to help YouTube be better, they need to understand that making rant videos won't do much other than get them views, I guess. If they don't want YouTube to just hold all the power all the time, they need to come together, establish some sort of unified front. This won't be easy, especially coming from me and the close to zero YouTubers I know, but hey, stuff happens. So if you can spare the time and agree with the video, share and maybe we can make some difference. Uh, hey, this is this channel's attempt to break out a bit from Game of Thrones content. So any criticism you have, if this is the kind of content that would help or not help, I already have at least three more topics about YouTube I want to explore, but I'll reconsider it based on you guys and gals' comments. So if you like the video, I think YouTube was planning on putting in a button for that. Uh, I think you can find it at the bottom. I'll double check. If you want to help us improve or just tell us how good, bad, wrong, or right we are, comment. And if you want to see our version of how Batman vs Superman should have been, or if John is a warg, here are the links. Like always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a great day.